Hello, everybody. What is your favorite Western show? Well, let us guess. Is it Yellowstone? If your answer is yes, then we're on the same page with you. The show's fourth season started strong and got even stronger each episode. Last week, we couldn't believe our eyes when Jamie finally discovered that Garrett had something to do with the attacks on the Duttons. We were as surprised as Jamie. We also saw John as a very vulnerable stage in which he was struggling to face the fact that his children are happier without him and without Yellowstone. Since he is seeing his ranch as his true home and, dare we say, as his baby, the revelation was devastating for John. He concluded after Casey had to leave the ranch to save his marriage. We also watched Jimmy reaching Texas and failing at keeping in touch with Maya. Beth, on the other hand, received a new job offer, which was a big but controversial one. Fortunately, Beth is never the type to be afraid of controversial projects and situations. While her relationship with Rip is on track, the issue of Carter is still waiting to be resolved, as the poor boy doesn't know what to do. As you can see, Episode 4 of Season 4 of Yellowstone was a total blessing in terms of the plot. It had many incidents, twists, and turns that kept us all on the edge. We feel like the season is finally getting its momentum and will be even more exciting in the future episodes. Therefore, we have high hopes for Episode 5 of Yellowstone. First and foremost, it is clear that we will see a lot of Jamie. There is a high chance that he will go to Garrett before going to Dutton's regarding the prison records. He will probably try to get a reasonable explanation from Garrett, even though he knows that this revelation is too big to be just a coincidence, because he had built a very strong relationship with Garrett, out of his search for attention and love, facing the true face of his biological father will probably be demolishing for Jamie. He is already not a very stable character, and can easily be manipulated by people like Garrett as he failed to receive the compassion he needs from John. He was spending all of his time with Garrett, neglecting the Duttons. Well, it seems like he will be sorry about this in Episode 5, and we are already pitying Jamie. We will also probably see the new life of Casey and Monica in Monica's grandparents. The couple has gone through a very difficult patch, as Monica hates Yellowstone and John. According to her, John is a bad and dangerous person, and Yellowstone is suffering from his problematic behaviors to the point that everybody who is living on the ranch is doomed to end up being bad. Well, because her husband got kidnapped, then both her son and herself got attacked in the ranch, and her son had to shoot at a guy. We cannot blame Monica for her way of thinking. Although Casey was ignoring the situation at first, when he faced the trauma of his wife and son, he realized that the problem is more serious than he assumed. With the support of John, he finally decided to do something about it, or else he will lose Monica forever. The solution was simple. Bring her back to the place she was truly happy. And that place was her grandparents' house. It wasn't an easy decision for Casey, as he is highly fond of John and Yellowstone. Still, he decided that such a sacrifice was a must if he wants this relationship to continue. Tate was also very happy to see that his father was also joining them in the moving process. This means that we will see Casey trying to fit in a place he doesn't want to be in, while Monica is getting better. We hope to see their marriage getting better, as well since both parties have already sacrificed a lot just to be together. Another topic that we expect to see in the next episode is developments regarding Beth's new job. In the previous episode, we saw her receiving a major job offer from Caroline, the CEO of the biggest investment company in the world. Well, Beth has acted in a true Beth nature by mocking her. However, Caroline was very serious. When Beth told her that she would never work against the interests of Yellowstone, Caroline said that she doesn't have to. On the contrary, she said, you can save Yellowstone thanks to this job. Caroline was offering Beth to come up with new lands and ranches that can be taken over by this investment company so that they would leave Yellowstone alone. The offer was intriguing, but not enough. So, Beth raised the stakes once again by coming up with a counteroffer. She said she would work for them only if they would give their share in Schwartz and Mayer to her. Beth made this offer, assuming that they wouldn't accept it anyway. However, we believe she was underestimating Caroline. Despite hating her, Caroline was highly aware of Beth's true potential and would not give up on her so easily. Although she has some valid concerns about working for Caroline, Beth would also accept the offer, not only because she knows she is good at business, but also because she wants to take her revenge against her old firm so badly. She would do anything for it. In our opinion, in this episode, we will watch her taking this very serious decision and returning to the business world. Well, we support her wholeheartedly. What do you expect from Yellowstone Season 4 Episode 5?
Do you agree with our expectations? Do you think this episode will be the one that we learn the truth behind the attacks? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.